Hollywood's biggest talent congregated in an airplane hangar Thursday night for the broadcast critics ASSN's 23rd annual Critics' Choice Awards. Held in Santa Monica Airport's Barker Hangar, the second major award show of Hollywood's self-celebratory season struggled to find a tone in the wake of the blatantly political Golden Globes last week. Host Olivia Munn, one of several women to accuse Brett Ratner of sexual impropriety, kicked off the night with a cringe-inducing musical number featuring former SNL cast member and white famous star Jay Farrow. Later, Munn was joined on stage by Nisi Nash to raise a glass to all the good guys in Hollywood including the male casting directors who didn't ever say anything derogatory in an audition and that famous actor who didn't treat me like crap after I said I didn't want to get drinks with him after the show. Thank you to all of the men for speaking up at the Golden Globes and joining us began Nash before Mum cut her off to remind her that there hadn't been any. The only joke to land was one about Mark Wahlberg. Thank you to the producers for paying Nisi and I the same amount of money and Mark Wahlberg a million dollars, Nunn said, a nod to his pay controversy for all the money in the world reshoots. He took a pay cut so it's really nice of him. The joke received a combination laugh groan from the crowd. James Franco, recently accused of sexual misconduct by five women, won the award for Best Actor in a Comedy, to muted applause. Presenter Walton Goggins accepted the award on behalf of the noticeably absent star. The Big Sick took home the award for Best Comedy, beating out films like Girls Trip and I, Tonya. Star Kumail Nanjiani, who wore a Time's Up pin, thanked all the white men who allowed us to stand here today. Men have been talking too much for centuries, he said. We need to shut up, listen and amplify. Amazon Primes, the marvelous Mrs. Meisel, was a surprise winner, receiving the award for Best Comedy Series. Star Rachel Brosnan Hin won the award for Best Actress in a Comedy Series and thanked the critics for fast and furious support of our new show. She also urged people to visit the Time's Up website and donate to the Legal Defense Fund. Gal Gadot won the second annual See Her Award, an honor awarded to actresses for accurately portraying women on screen. She was presented the award by Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins and received a standing ovation as she made her way to the stage. Throughout my career, I was always asked to describe my dream role, said Gadot. It was clear to me that I wanted to portray a strong and independent woman, a real one. The irony of this is that later I was cast as Wonder Woman and all of these qualities I looked for, I found in her. In the past weeks and months we've been witnessing a movement in our industry and society, she continued. And I want to share this award with all the women and men who stand to support what's right. Wonder Woman also won Best Action Movie later in the night. Big Little Lies and The Handmaid's Tale were big winners in television during the pre-telecast, setting the tone for the rest of the show. Big Little Lies took home four awards including Best Limited Series. Alexander Skarsgård, who won Best Supporting Actor in a Movie Made for TV a Limited Series during the pre-telecast, was the first Big Little Lies cast member of the night to win. The six-foot-four actor had to squat to speak into the mic, which elicited huge laughs from the room. Co-star Laura Dern won immediately after, taking home the award for Best Supporting Actress in the same category. The 5'10 actress also had to bend to dare her acceptance speech. This is so interesting, she said, adjusting her squat. Dern thanked her fellow nominees and was one of few stars to speak on behalf of Time's Up and the Legal Defense Fund. I feel so privileged to join your company, she said. To be a fellow worker, and at a time, particularly recently, in support of the Legal Defense Fund working with so many actors and actresses to support people from all industries, it's been a great privilege to be. In Unity, Nicole Kidman won the Best Actress in a Movie Made for TV A Limited Series Award, beating out co-star Reese Witherspoon. I humbly accept this on behalf of all of the women in this cast, said Kidman. This is about the ensemble. Any actor in this room knows you are only as good as the actors you work with. So this is to all of you. The Handmaid's Tale won three awards including Best Drama Series, Best Actress in a Drama Series for Elizabeth Moss, and Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for Anne Dowd. I used to be afraid of critics, she said. Not so much anymore. Thank you. When I started my career, I couldn't get to the reviews fast enough. Until I got my first bad one, and then I hated you all, Dowd adorably shouted out her husband, saying, I love my husband, his name is Larry, and later admitted that she calls Moss my favorite slut. I mean, in the show, do you know, she clarified. 
Margot Robbie and Alison Janney won Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Awards, respectively, for their performances and I, Tonya, Janney, who was nominated alongside Mary J. Blige, Mudbound, offered to gift her award to Blige, whose birthday it was that day. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, won three awards, including Best Actress for Frances McDormand, Best Supporting Actor for Sam Rockwell and Best Ensemble, Get Out, won awards for Best Original Screenplay and Best Sci-Fi Horror Movie during the hour-long pre-telecast, beating out nominees like Blade Runner 2049, It, and The Shape of Water, The Shape of Water, which received the most nominations of any film, took home only four of 14 nominations Best Production Design, Best Picture, Best Score, and Best Director for Guillermo del Toro. As the network began to play him off stage halfway through his acceptance speech, del Toro said, This music is very nice. I like it. It goes well with the words. Caption 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 Sonia.Kelly at Latimes.com Follow me on Twitter at Sonia.Kelly